I'm going to show you exactly how to connect Google Drive to N8N in under five minutes. And as a bonus, I'm even going to show you how to connect all your other Google applications, Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, Gmail, and even YouTube. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is come over to console.cloud.google.com. Then you're going to need to create a new project. So come up here to the top and click new project. We can just call this N8N YouTube demo. The organization doesn't matter. Go ahead and click create. And this takes a couple seconds to create a new project. And this is all done. And all you want to do is you want to make sure that up top here, you've actually selected the new project that we're working on. So now that we're inside of the new project, we're just going to come over to the side menu and we're going to go into API and services, go into enable APIs and services. The first thing we're going to do is enable APIs and services. So now that we're here, all we have to do is search for all the APIs that we need. So the first thing that we need is Google Drive. So we just want the Google Drive API. We're going to go ahead and click into this first one and click enable. And now basically you just want to do this for all the other services that you want to have connected. I recommend just doing this for all of them because then you only have to set this up once and you basically never have to come back here. So you can come in here and type in Google Sheets, get the Google Sheets API, click into this, go ahead, click enable, come back to APIs and services, go ahead and we can say Google Docs, go to the Google Docs API, click enable. And if you want, instead of going here, you can just come into the library and we can type in Google Slides. If you want Google Slides, go ahead, click into Google Slides, click Enable. Then we're going to do this for YouTube and for Gmail as well. So we have the Gmail API, click Enable. And the last one that we want to search for is YouTube. And we actually want this YouTube Data API version 3. This is going to get you all the latest data coming from YouTube. If you're scraping YouTube or want access to your own personal data, this is how you get access to it. Before we can create our credentials, we actually need to configure this OAuth consent screen because N8N uses OAuth authentication uh, in order to sign in. So we're just going to go in, in here and click Get Started. And now we're creating an app. We can just name this the same thing, N8N YouTube Demo. And then we want to use our email address for the support email. You go ahead, type in your own email address here. Click Next. This is going to be external. Make sure you select external here for the audience. Click Next. Contact information, it's going to be the same and click I agree and finish and go ahead and click create. The next thing we need to do is configure an OAuth client. The application type is going to be web application and we can name this the same and then YouTube demo and we need a authorized redirect URI. So where do we find this? Well, the most common place to find this is actually inside of N8N. So you might be familiar if we come into like something like Google Drive here, and it doesn't really matter what we select here. This is often where you're going to be setting up your credentials. I'll show you a couple other places where you can do that. But if you just click the drop down, we can go ahead and click create new credential. And this is the OAuth redirect URI. So we just want to make sure we go ahead and click this to copy this. And now we can come back in here and we can go ahead and paste this in right here. And that's all you need here. Just go ahead and click create. And before we can actually access this, we need one more thing up here in the branding. We actually need these authorized domains. So where do we find this? Well, if we come back into N8N, they actually have pretty good documentation that walks you through these steps. If you scroll all the way down here, this kind of walks you through what we've already done with enabling the APIs and setting up the library. And we're in this OAuth consent screen. And here, if we see in the authorized domain section, add n8n.cloud. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Come down into add domain. And we can click out and we're good there. And then you want to make sure that you have this developer contact information with your email address saved and just go ahead and click save. And I did find one more thing that's helpful inside of audience here. You want to go ahead into test users and add yourself as a test user. And then from here, just to get your secret access keys, go into clients and go into your app that you created. And here you need both the client ID and the client secret. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the client ID come back into N8N and paste this into the client ID stage. And then I'm just going to copy this client secret and go ahead and I'm going to paste that in here as well. And then all you have to do is click sign in with Google. From there, just choose the account that you want to sign in with. Go ahead and click continue. And then basically select what it has access to. I'm just going to click select all so it can basically see, edit, create. Uh, it basically has read, write access to everything, right? And just come down to the bottom and click continue. And then from here, you see we have this connection successful screen and you can get started using all of your Google applications right away. 
If you don't want to configure your credentials from within the workflow, there are two other places you can do it. You can either click the plus up here to create a new credential, or you can click this little drop down arrow to create a credential here. And you're basically going to go through a really similar process. You're going to search for Google Drive. You can go ahead and do this and click continue. And basically, you're going to do the same thing. Now you're just going to copy and paste your client ID and client secret in here. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.